It was my job to create a mood or an atmosphere for all the sets. Uh, now, we had a gothic storyline. Uh, we didn't know we were going to have a vampire, but it was still enough to know that there were going to be unexpected things happening. There were going to be scary things happen. There might be ghosts. Um, so that the mood was always uh, going to be um, heavy. The mood was always going to be mysterious. Uh, it was always going to be uh, what's going to happen next, or is someone going to get hurt? Is something going to pop out from behind a drapery? Or is someone going to pop out behind a drapery? Uh, even things like the clock in the foyer was a gnarled, uh, heavily carved clock, not just a clock of the period, but everything had to be like heavily encrusted to get across that atmosphere of um, the scariness and the haunting and serious, mysterious stuff. Originally, I came from television, which was very young. Uh, it was considered the golden age of television, uh, which is, was anything to a designer but a golden age. It had scenery that was made of canvas, not backed. The, the canvas would weave and, and shake and wave. Uh, there wasn't the stability. Uh, details, architectural details, were not real. They were simulated with paint. Uh, so you really have a flimsy kind of a... Uh, television settings uh, for the programs that were on the air. Then I had gone to do, just before Dark Shadows, I had gone to do a fil film series. And in film, of course, which is Hollywood, they had always done realistic. Moldings were real. Wallpapers were real. They were not stenciled. Uh, the, there was depth to doorways and windows. There was architectural uh, uh, thicknesses. Uh, and I decided, well, if I'm coming from film, I'm going to bring that kind of technique of building scenery to television. And I think that it was, you know, it had a big influence on television design from that point on, everywhere. Everything on, uh, on the Dark Shadows sets, especially the drawing room and the foyer, the textures were all real. The drawing room was paneled with real three-dimensional wood paneling. Uh, the texture of the walls in the foyer had corner block stones that were raised off of the surface. And then it had a uh, rugged, rough, textured uh, plaster uh, coming away from the cornerstones. And then, of course, you had the balustrades and the balusters on the stairway, all turned and beautifully uh, modeled, uh, something that was not, uh, not a commonplace thing to use for television. To achieve a gothic look, a designer, first of all, if he hasn't seen a lot of goth gothic architecture, needs to either see it or go to the books, use every bit of research that he has at his uh, fingertips and do his research. Uh, like I had to learn what was the formula for creating a Gothic arch. Uh, I also knew that uh, the stained glass windows at the top of the stair would be a very valuable, important kind of a statement uh, which could change the mood of the, uh, the foyer by the light coming through it, daytime light, and we even did this. We would use uh, uh, amber light coming through the windows during the day and blue light coming through the night so that the, the look of the window and the rest of the foyer and the light that came in it would change uh, at different times of the day. I think that it's a given that we love entrances coming from staircases. You know, the longer the staircase, the better the entrance, the more imposing the entrance. 
And uh, I think that that's always been a given for most designers. You know, the most lavish sets that we've seen in movies. I mean, I was looking today at a book on Dracula, and there's a huge stone stair, no baluster, but there's a huge stone curved staircase, which is a classic. Uh, and here it was in a, uh, you know, a horror movie. Um, we, we had a very elegant uh, staircase. It was heavy because the balusters were heavy, the rail was heavy, there was a tapestry on the side of the stairs, um, and it really set a wonderful tone. Uh, we have many scenes that start or end with people coming up or down the staircase, and what we also loved was having that landing across the back where people could stand uh, and talk to the people below. So it created a lot of dramatic moments.